Slow VOR and head thrust. Check the patient has an intact VOR by moving their head slowly from side to side and asking them to maintain fixation on a target such as your nose. Try to rotate the head in a plane 30 degrees below the horizontal. This brings the horizontal canal into the plane of motion. If the patient can do this, move their head quickly to one side and then the other. Obviously, it is important to warn the patient that you will be moving their head quickly before you begin the test. A corrective saccade after the thrust indicates a decrease in VOR gain and implies a vestibular loss on the side towards which you are moving the head. This lady has a unilateral loss on the right side. This test has good specificity but lower sensitivity. Normal performance does not preclude a vestibular weakness. Watch again for the corrective saccade after rightward but not leftward head movement. The head can be moved towards or away from the center. If you are inexperienced with this test, it is easier to control the movement if it is towards the center. Making the timing of the movement unpredictable will improve the sensitivity of the test.